Well, hello there, Pisces. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whenever you're coming across my channel. Welcome. Um, come on in, take a seat. We're going to be doing your love read for this week. Um, let's get an oracle card out for you. We're doing a slightly different format today. We're going to be looking at um, the love energy around you this week and then what you can expect to see from your person, um, you know, how that's going to impact you. It's going to give you that guidance here that uh, you might need. Want to know how to, how to tackle somebody, how what to do in a certain situation. Okay, here, okay, there's a lot of you out here. I'm feeling a lot of strength there. So, a lot of you here, you've got an incredible amount of inner strength. Look at this, letting go. This is a beautiful, beautiful image. What are the turquoise and blue on here? Okay. <clears throat> This is your love energy this week. So you may well find yourself being tempted to, um, I wouldn't say have a general clearing. Um, you know, spring cleaning time uh, is upon us as well. But you could well be thinking about the people you have in your life. You're also releasing some energy here that you don't need any longer. You know, letting go some of those triggers. Uh, all kinds of good positive stuff here. So a really good energy to be going into this week. This card number is 22 and I feel like I need to just point out that number two to you. That 22 combo. If you start seeing that number two an awful lot, if you're waking up and it's like 20 past two in the morning or you look and it's 20 past, 22 minutes past two in the afternoon um, or anything like that, that number two is there for you. Okay, um, let's see. Wow. This is what you need to know about your person this week, what you can expect from them. Wow. Cross watchers, this is the point where I need to say to you, you might want to reverse some of these roles as they fit into your situation. Um, it's not going to be for everybody. This is a general reading. So um, feel free to check out your other birth chart placements as well. So they have the Ten of Cups. Look at this. But as I'm holding this card, you know, Ten of Cups is a very happy ever after energy. But as I'm holding the card here, I feel like this is someone who's been kind of left waiting. Um, now, this could be you or it could be your person here. But I feel like they or you are, have been in a situation of waiting wanting your ship to sell in here and it's not coming it's it, it's kind of it's on the horizon you can see it um but is it getting any closer how close is it going to get this but oh my gosh look i was saying about the inner strength look you, they have the strength cards you guys have the strength card here as well so straight away we have water sign energy here quite strongly with that ten of cups so you could be dealing with another water sign here could be dealing with um, Leo here with this strength card. Um, we've also, I want to say Scorpio, but yeah, we've got strong fire sign energy here as well today. So it doesn't have to be this is your person's sign, but if they come up, then all the better. I'm, I'm hearing like a leather jacket as I'm just talking here about the signs. I'm seeing a person here that has a leather jacket. The, and when you can tell when they're coming because you can hear that movement. This could also be somebody who has a father in spirit and they know when their um when their loved one is near because they can hear that sound, that 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 jacket. They can hear the jacket. So that's not gonna be for everyone, that's very specific, okay? Um so just want you to just pay a little bit of close attention, or dad just wants you to let you know let you know that he is close and around you, okay? Um with this uh, strength card right here, this is great. I love this card. It's saying, you know, with this letting go energy, it's okay to let things go because all that's happening is you've actually just outgrown your box here, okay? Um, this tree, you cannot contain it inside that box, you see? Um, it's going to grow. It's going to do its thing. And this is exactly what you're doing. It's just time to let some things go. You have grown, outgrown, okay? You have outgrown... Um, and this is why they're saying it's okay to let go. So this is your um, energies here for this week. We've also then got the tower. This is going to be a major surprise, okay? This could seem like a huge disaster here for some people. Um, but you have the surprise. I just want to clarify what that is um, or who that is. Because I feel like 
I mean, this could come in any, oh my gosh, that's too many card spirits. What does that mean? Just being clumsy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. What is this tower here for Pisces, please? Look, they want me to stop there. Look, I tried to shuffle and it wouldn't let me move. Okay, right, here we go. <laughs> wow, okay, so we've got Aries energy. So this is about now. This is this emperor coming in, bringing in the surprise, okay? We have with that as well then. Wow, two of wands. Now, I'll tell you one thing. I'm seeing the two of wands and the three of wands a lot recently. Um, so there's something about this, these two cards in the collective energy, because we're seeing, I'm seeing it so many times, um, the last like two weeks here. So there's the three of wands. You've got both of these energies. So yeah, that two of wands is waiting and watching. You could be dealing with an Aries because I think that's what Aries had, um, in their reading this week was this waiting and watching type energy. Um, like it's looking off to the distance. You're both looking at each other. You're both waiting for the other one to make a move here. So the surprise here could actually be that um, nobody's doing anything. <laughs> nobody's really making a move here. No one's saying their piece. Nobody is, um, you know, stepping forward. I feel like this person is someone that does stay quiet about what they want, though. So you never really know. You never really, uh, you, you get, I think you get so close to the point of understanding and knowing what's going on. And then they don't actually say, and as I'm talking here, I can smell aftershave really strongly, but I have no idea what scent this is. Mm, I feel like I should know it because I feel like it's one that's very popular. It's sort of, if I said it's like a refreshing smell, but it's got that distinct manliness to it, which makes it a, a, an aftershave rather than a perfume. Mm, all right. Yeah, but they, they, they it's, it's, gone, it's going away now. So I didn't quite get it. Whoever that was for, they've obviously got the message because it's, it's moving on now. So um, thank you. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry. Spirit, put me back on track, please. Right, we have here, um, for you guys, we have this three of wands energy. So look, again, it's a card. It, they can both be about travel. That two and the three of wands are both about traveling, okay? So someone is coming to you. Someone is on their way, I feel. Or well, you're on their way to them. No, I kind of I want to say it's on it's the other way around. I feel like it's this person. They're on their way to you. Oh, okay. Mm, that could be why I keep seeing this car. I do keep seeing this car, and I just saw a garage door here, like a garage door closing. So, um, yeah. Whenever I see a car, it's usually to do with um. You know, it can be moving on, like a metaphorical moving on, but it can also be a, you know, a physical traveling, you know, somewhere you can get to by car, but it's just, um, it's an unusual journey. There's a reason they're highlighting it uh, with that car, okay? Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, let's see what else you need. Oh look, Wheel of Fortune. I love this card in this deck, mostly because it has the wedding ring in the center. Um, somebody, oh wow, okay, so somebody here, I feel they are making their wedding plans. Now, is that because this person has asked you or you're just thinking about it anyway? <laughs> you just want this person to be the one. That's absolutely fine. You can do that. You can do that. Try not to attach all of your hopes and dreams onto one individual though, because we're all unique and we all have free will. So, um, you know, just bear in mind that they might not want to do what you want to do. It's kind of a polite way of saying you can't have it all your own way. <laughs> um, so here, yeah, sorry, I'm seeing an aquarium here. Okay. Oh, somebody lives by an aquarium or some sort of pet store where there's aquariums. Okay, this could be, this could be it. This could be what it's doing. I'm seeing a lorry as well now. Okay, so does somebody travel then with work? Somebody, some a driver here? That could be what we've got here. 
somebody drives for a living or they have to travel drive a long way for a living oh my gosh there's too many cards for it what else does pisces need to know about their person please okay thank you for this week okay so we have scorpio again really strongly and we've got the chariot so yeah a lot of movement on this end so we do have strong energies here of transformation we've got that letting go oracle card at the beginning so we've got a big week here in terms of those transformation energies for you and this moving on energy so movement 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 so the message here for you guys this week is don't get stuck in a rut okay it's okay sometimes like change is not easy it's not always straightforward and, and that's okay it can be um require you letting go of some things um but it's necessary in order for you to go on to the, that next phase so try and stay positive my loves um that is your weekly read for this week i'm sending you lots of blessings abundance healing whatever you need this week my darlings i'm sending that to you um and um if you haven't hit the like subscribe button please do so and i will see you next week